I've come to a point where I believe that when somebody comes in not feeling well, with symptoms of hot flashes, gaining weight, just losing libido, just not feeling themselves. Before I think of anything else, I think hormones. And those patients that think hormones first and find physicians who take care of their hormones first are usually the ones who do well, best over the long run. While it isn't exactly what we want to hear, I think it's really important to understand the fact that as we get older, we cannot lead the same lifestyles that we lead when we're in our 20s. Our bodies in our 20s are full of hormones. So if you're drinking all night and stay up all night and party all night and run around like a lunatic all night, your body's going to be able to replenish itself and make do. As you get older, you don't have so much hormones in your body anymore. As the hormones get depleted, just like a plant, you dry out without water. You got to water the plant. You got to keep the hormones in if you want them to stay alive, if you want you to stay healthy. So what you need to do is realize that the hormones are part of the picture. But as you get older, what you're eating, how your body processes food changes dramatically. You can eat McDonald's all you want when you're a teenager in your 20s, but try it in your 50s and see what happens. You get bloated, you feel horrible. Your body cannot process food the same way. So as you get older, in your 30s and 40s, start changing. Start eliminating artificial sweeteners, caffeine, diminish the amount of alcohol. Start addressing the possibility that maybe wheat and gluten are not so easily processed by your body any longer. Look at what you eat and how you feel. Address that and then you'll see a balance changing in your body. Sleep. As you get older, you need more sleep. When you sleep, your hormones get renewed and your body feels better when you wake up after eight hours of solid sleep. But as you get older, because your hormones are leaving you, you don't get as much sleep. You can't sleep as well. So you need hormones, but you also need to address your sleep hygiene. You have to make sure that your life encourages and supports good sleeping habits. Exercise. Old people get old and sick because they don't exercise. You get broken much quicker when you're not moving. So you need to move. The more you move, the more good hormones you're making, even after menopause. The hormones you're making during exercise will make you feel better and will maintain health. 